wanted to do a really big show, and I wanted to bridge this gap that I saw between Hoof and Horn, which is an entirely student-run organization dedicated only to musical theater, and the Department of Theater Studies, which is very academic focused in experimental theater. The way Hoof and Horn works is that we um, put our show, what our show is going to be to a vote every year. So last spring, um, April 2011, we uh, had a meeting and we voted to do ragtime. Now we have over 120 people, faculty and mostly students working on it. Ragtime as a show has been going really differently than I expected it to, and I think a significant part of that is because it's not a hook and horn show, it's a collaboration. Let's have that perfect song first! Your Honor, we find that Harry's not guilty! Harry's not guilty! Jeff and Dr. Kelly and Barbara have sort of had to really change their way of thinking to understand that the three of them really have to work together and one of the tough things has sort of been figuring out how to balance the relationship between theater, music, and dance when all of them sort of naturally prioritize their own field. You've got all, you've got all of them here to finish the number okay, great. at the end. Okay, good. So, uh, I think the biggest good. challenge of the production has been just the sheer size. It's been amazing working with, you know, three departments at Duke and Hoof and Horn and everyone to put this together, but, um, you know, there's more, I think there's more pieces and bigger pieces than any other show I've worked on. So, yeah, yeah. so if, you're, if, you're, if you're moving off in that direction, you're still singing all the all parts, okay? So you got to keep face. This is very theatrical, this is vaudeville, so faces are going to be straight out to the audience. Yada, da 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 Okay? Just kind of getting everything initially learned was a little bit of a struggle, just an adjustment for all groups, but I think now we're really starting to mesh a little bit better, and I think it's going to be a really smooth process moving forward. And now, testifying for the defense, Miss Evelyn Nesbitt! The set is absolutely, it will take your breath away. It's huge, it's incredible. Uh, it's very, it's very true to life. It's based on, you know, real buildings that were constructed during that time period. Honestly, I think it looks like a subway station. Um, and I think Jeff agrees. And I think that's really cool because not only does it put us into New York, which is such an incredibly, like, integral part of the story, but it also gives this feeling of solidity and strength that I think is important to the show. This whole semester we've all been looking at like a little tiny model um, of the set, so none of us were really aware of how big and how detailed it was going to be, so walking onto the stage of Reynolds the first time was just amazing. You're It's like a master class in musical theater in that, you know, there are so many aspects. Anyone coming to the show can get something out of it. Huff and Horn, a lot of times, I think, we sort of make some sacrifices for the sake of just getting things done quickly. And Jeff and Dr. Kelly and Barbara have been really good about making sure we're not sacrificing anything. I think it's going to be a really incredible show, even though there have been some bumps along the road. It's the biggest musical that's ever been done at Duke. People, every week, someone here who, who sees a rehearsal or who sees one of the promotional performances we're doing will come up to me and say, I had no idea we had those kind of voices at Duke. That just blew me away. I have to see that show. And so that's what you can expect to see. This is just a new level that we have not reached at Duke before. And it's breathtaking. It's really incredible to see.